So we have Matty Ice and, Col and Coleslaw versus Chicken Bros. Super Chicken Bros. <laughs> Super Chicken Bros. <laughs> Combo meal. No, I'm not doing balloons for doubles. I can't keep track of that. Oh, okay. Uh, do you know who's who? Um, Character I'm, wise? I'm actually not sure. Let's just remove that liability. This is, just looking at these characters, it feels like a match that should go really fast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It'll, be, it'll go a lot faster than the last match. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not exactly sure. How solid is Sheik in this game? Sheik's still really good. Oh, that, that back air happened. Like, with, her, with her DI trap mix up, she, down do, throw she doesn't have a chain grab on 80% of the roster anymore. She has a mix up out of throw. Yeah. Like, that's, that's what got nerfed about her. Her forward smash is actually good. I mean, and like it has kill potential. Yeah, and people don't just fall out of it anymore. Ooh, missing so like, the recovery. Sheik missing the recovery there, but getting saved by XFB. Yeah, her forward smash is a good move now, and she still has all the super free kill setups. Like half her moveset leads in the pair. Okay. Wow, that almost went terribly. Like I'm, I'm, I'm digging these two characters. I think I can Meta Knight can be a really good team. You have a character that can actually go out there and, and yeah. finish the job, and, and you have I another character. Gimp and Ike is just a powerhouse. Exactly. And and as long as they actually can stay alive, you know, <laughs> like we might actually see some some kind of comeback. Yeah, I, double Ike sounds like it could almost be double Ganon in, in tournament or in uh, in doubles. Yeah, I don't. I don't you don't, I, you don't I, believe in Double Ganon? I don't believe in Double Ike. Oh. Why not? <laughs> I feel like... Like, like when Ike, he... He's, he can be effective in certain situations, but I don't think Double Ike can get the job done. It's like, this team is like Sheik Fox. Fox is known to have, like, a ton of kill power. Yeah. A gimp, gimp ability. And just, like, really good options on recovery. And same thing for... Same thing pretty much for Sheik. But, like... Double Ike, <laughs> they would just have to swing and hope that either they shield poke most of the time or something that they're doing is leading into like the strongest move they have. Yeah. Yeah, Fox will always be good in doubles. Like, they could nerf him so much and he'd still be amazing. <laughs> just because, like, by design, he gets stuff done quickly. Well, in my personal opinion, I've actually uh, watched the PAL version of Fox, yeah, and he's not as strong as he is in that game, Sp just specifically because they nerfed up Smash. Yeah. Hey, who's Red Team? Okay. Okay, so Matty Ice and Coleslaw are red. And so I, I personally feel like it makes for like a more diverse... Uh, Meta game character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah, they're all double legal. There's no slowdown on any of the stages. Roy? Bringing out Roy. Okay. I mean, Roy is pretty good. I think their overall strategy is to stick to swords. Stick to swords? Yeah. It's not a bad strategy. Almost every character with a sword in this game is godlike. <laughs> I mean, you got, of course, all the Fire Emblem characters. Toon Link's pretty ridiculous. Meta Knight's really good. Peach has a beam sword. <laughs> I don't I don't see very much Link though. No. Link is the worst sword character. But I still wouldn't say he's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 
So this is pretty much a repeat from last game. Yeah. It's like we we get a, a whole new cast and we're still seeing Fox Sheik. Yeah, and again, look at this doc. Sheik is hanging on to her lives way longer than everyone else. Yeah. Oh, taunting, nice recovery you, can, you cannot take the time to taunt in doubles. What are you doing? <laughs> Well, you know, Roy's young. He, yeah. He's going to make a lot of terrible decisions he throughout his know. life. <laughs> this is his first time experiencing what it's like to be good. <laughs> Ike the big brother. Are they brothers? I don't know anything about Fire Emblem. I don't either, actually. <laughs> I know Roy is like Roy's a banished. Red, Roy's got red hair. Ike's got blue hair. I don't think they can be brothers. I don't think <laughs> video game genetics work that way. Unless it's written by Kojima. Beating up his partner. Oh, they hit, they're hitting so heavy. Oh, wow. Uh, this, this is, is actually this is what I, around. This is what I talk about. See, did you see when it happened? Did you notice exactly when I did. Blue Team started winning? I didn't notice, actually. Dude, we were talking, we're like, <laughs> Blue Team's losing the same way again, and now suddenly they're not. Oh, uh, sure, go sure. ahead. Tried way too hard to get it's, that forward it's, smash. It's okay. The edge I mean, and hit, yeah. Unless Fox can get some really good gimps here, like three shine spikes in a row, this probably isn't going to happen. It's very possible. Like uh, at higher level play, Fox is a monster. Yeah. Even even if it's just one on two on one. Ooh. Yeah, but none of them are percent to die from an up smash or an up air, so he's gonna have to put him off stage and shine spike. Yeah, but going off stage like that is so risky when there's another character waiting on stage for you. Yeah, that was a tournament life. No yeah. So he had to do something risky regardless. So I'm guessing like Sheik Fox will probably go to the battlefield. Yeah. Oh, Pokemon. I'm surprised. I would actually assume Maybe, that they went well, on lower, lower ceilings or something. Ike does really well on battlefield just because he can jump, do an air, and cover half the stage. I know, but we're talking about Sheik Fox. Yeah. They pretty much work anywhere, but I, I guess here. This ceiling does also have a very low stage. It's like PS1. Did I just say oh. that ceiling has a low stage? I yeah, think I it did. actually okay. does not have a low stage. It's pretty high up. Man. <laughs> well, that was a surprising start. I didn't expect both Sheik and Fox to actually die fairly early. And it seems like now the, the Fire Emblem... Well, it's even out now. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm watching Ike, and he's literally been on the left side of the screen like the entire time. He's just he's just throwing people off and just just striking them to the doom. Sorry, someone looking for KO. Yeah, Ike can do that. It's he can't go deep, but his sword goes deep for him. It's like. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have that much more range than Marth, but it just stays out there so long on all of his, all of his areas. Do you know the frame data for, like, Fair on, uh, on Ike? No, I don't. I just know, like, everything he does is ridiculously meaty.
if that was not the back air you wanted. It worked anyway. Wow, okay. That was a nice follow-up. Yeah. I'm surprised how even these... I mean, like... I thought there would be a runaway after a C in the first game. Yeah. Like, I... I for the most part, I'm watching, like, Roy. And, like, he, he just... Pretty much is just walking around the stage, F smashing. Yeah, and he's pretty much he's pretty much closed out a lot of stocks because of it. It works though. <laughs> he just keeps scheming, waiting and watching. Oh, Ike. Oh, oh, whoa! Oh, that's stock. That's, that's that. You don't you don't stock steal with start. <laughs> the same melee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lonely Roy. The thing is, Roy could do this. One forward smash, sweet spot would kill Fox right now. And, and anything Sheik. will pretty much, pretty much kill Sheik. Oh, that's not the smash you want. <laughs> nope. Okay, Done. close it out. Nice.